Hello again, my name is Susan Bray and I work with women in business, um, executive level, middle management level and, and upwards, women of influence and particularly women who have um, uh, challenges with stress and low energy. So you have high levels of stress and low levels of energy and this has probably been going on for some time so it's chronic. And um, yeah, the reason I do this is so that um, women who are successful and are, are out there in the world in, in challenging situations, um, challenging environments, can hold on to their, to hold on to your, your wholeness, a sense of congruence, so that um, you can be successful without having any costs. Women are, you are every bit as capable, we are every bit as capable as men. We just have different makeups and we have a slightly different brain um, uh, our, our development or our brains are slightly different in some ways than male brains and it means that we have a different response to, to stress. So I want to talk about something today which I've been aware of for yeah a number of weeks and it's 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 an idea that I that I that I want to share but I have the feeling that there's a kind of Bermuda triangle where um, the stress that women have in business and at your level and the low energy that you have it kind of disappears into this Bermuda triangle you know the this 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 zone where everything that goes into it kind of disappears um, but unlike the Bermuda Triangle, it's not really disappeared. It's just become a topic that's not talked about. And, um, you know, as women, we are, um, you know, and certainly when we're successful, we are really, really great at keeping going, keeping going, keeping going until the job is done. Um, and we're very good at putting ourselves last in, in um, you know, in our families, in our environments, uh, possibly in our in our teams, or you know, in terms of the goals that we are working towards in in in, in business. Um, but that can only go on for a certain amount of time, as I recognised and as I experienced with my with my own. Um, when I was when I was working in business, and um, you know the cost the cost is huge. So, what I'm really passionate about is is helping you um, uh, hold on to your to your wholeness, so that you not only cope and manage, but that you're thriving as well, and um, so that you you know you are successful as a businesswoman. And also as a woman, as a mother, as a partner, as a, as a friend, whatever relationships that you have in your life, that um, you experience that, um, that, that joy and that wholeness that, that is, is, is natural uh, to you. You've probably also heard of the imposter syndrome and it's really interesting that um, Eighty percent of uh, people of you know uh, of, of high levels in business, you know, even CEOs, uh, top level, feel or uh, experience the imposter syndrome. They feel that they're going to get found out that you kind of reached your success despite yourself, and that you managed to hide something. And obviously, this this plays into stress and low energy as well. And uh, and you know the question I have is 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 this happening to you? Are you experiencing chronic stress and low energy? And do you feel that you are kind of having to juggle it all, and and that if you're not careful, it might all slip away, or um, you know that you that you need to really work very hard to keep to keep going, or maybe you're working your way up to the level of success that you want to achieve, and that you have to. Um, you know, you have to really work hard and, and make compromises. Um, 
Because if this is the case, I, I, really, I really, really want to address that because in our uh, Western world that we live in, stress has, has become the norm and that level of stress has become the norm. Now, stress is natural. It's a natural response to um, events um, which we, you know, which our, our body, mind or emotions wants to take us away from. The, there's, there's some kind of level of threat. Um, uh, but in Taoism, the Taoist philosophy is that when we're experiencing high levels of, of stress and our, in an on, on an ongoing uh, basis, it's because our reserves of adaptive energy are low. And this is uh, something that's absolutely within our control and something that we can build up. But the way that we, most of us, are living our lives probably all of us, well, okay, say most of us are living our lives in the West and most parts of the world these days, is it really de depletes this adaptive energy. And as you can imagine by the name of it, the higher this level is, the more that we're able to cope with a plethora of changing circumstances around us, the more we're able to thrive in, in changing situations, the more we're able to adapt and um, and this this is this is this is it's t absolutely totally essential um, for everyone, but particularly when you're in a position of influence, because as a woman in business, you have um, a pioneering role still. You know, you might be the only woman on 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 the board or. Um, in meetings that you, you go to and you are certainly not a token token woman you um, you know there's a lot of research that's been done that shows that um, when there are women in all levels within business but also definitely the top levels it directly affects the bottom line of the business um, but there's something else that I believe is is going on when you are in your business environment and I think as a woman we bring something that's unique um, I believe men and women have unique um, qualities and we want to be able to tap into into all of them but what women bring is something that um, when it is fully expressed allows for a healthy business it's about um, you could say it's our nurturing nature um, and obviously a lot of women in business, we want success, um, but there's no reason why we cannot have success and bring um, our wholeness to business because other people are going to benefit from it. There are far too many businesses that are being conducted nowadays at the expense of employees, where employees are just um, uh, you know, cogs in a, in a machine and um, you know, this this is this is losing the the greatest resource, the greatest asset that any company has, and when we can work with teams and work with the people around us and help each individual to bring in what they are, um, what their strengths are, and to do it in a in a harmonious environment where nobody feels like they're having to work. <laughs> a, crazy long hours just to um, you know keep the keep the machinery moving but can work efficiently and effectively um, you know this is going to be to the to the greater benefit of the company and everybody there so I you know I believe as a woman in business and a woman of your level in business it's uh, really essential that um, you how you treat yourself and how you honor your boundaries and how you uh, nurture yourself and the agreements that you make with yourself and that these are not at the, at the you know the cost to yourself and um, and ultimately a cost to the to the business so do do you recognize this a little bit for yourself is it is it, it might be a bit of an uncomfortable uh, question um, and it might be you know it might open up something that you're not willing to look at but um, you know, I would say based on my own experience, it really is, um, it really is so valuable to, to honor yourself and respect yourself as a human being and 
and to make sure that your your habits and your practices and your um, your the, you, the way that you're living is congruent with who you are and you know what you're up for as an individual and as a um, successful woman of influence in business. So this is you know just something I I wanted to share with you today and if you feel that this might be going on for you and if you also are experiencing that you you know if you're honest you have low levels of energy and high levels of stress and you'd like to get in touch and and see what you can do about it um, you know there's a there's going to be a link below and um, feel free to ask any questions and um, you know, and if you'd like this video, um, like it and uh, share it if you feel that you have any friends or colleagues or anybody who could uh, benefit from this insight. And um, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.